Integrated reporting is actually a, a fairly simple idea. It's the integration of a company's required financial information and in most countries uh, voluntary non-financial information which is published in a sometimes called corporate social responsibility report, sometimes sustainability report. The key thing is the word obviously integration which is showing the relationship between financial and non-financial performance. So an increasing number of companies today make the claim that good performance on environmental, social, and governance domains is um, positive for shareholders, and I'm inclined to agree that, but uh, there's generally a lack of specificity about just exactly in what ways good ESG performance is contributing to the creation of shareholder value, whether it's lower costs, higher margins, more loyal customers, greater market share. So the thrust of integrated reporting is to really take account of those relationships to explain how the company is using its financial, its natural, and its human resources, um, how it is affecting the planet both positively and negatively. There's externalities uh, that are created. These need to be taken account of. The company should explain uh, how it's trying to meet the needs of all of its different stakeholders. Shareholders are certainly an important one as our employees, as our customers, NGOs representing the community in various ways. Uh, so in the kind of so-called one report, a company is reporting its material financial and non-financial information. Uh, that's important if a company truly has a sustainable strategy that will enable it to create value for shareholders over the long term and contribute to a sustainable society. However, I'd like to emphasize that one report doesn't only mean one report. It can also, a company should report much more detailed information of interest to particular stakeholders. The internet can be used to leverage that in some important ways. Uh, my co-author Kyle will be talking about that more, so I will leave that up to him. Let me conclude by just making a few observations about the state of integrated reporting today. It's an embryonic management practice. Um, it's only required in South Africa, very interesting. Mervyn King has shown great leadership through King 3. All companies in South Africa, all listed companies, have to start providing integrated reports. There's, outside of South Africa, maybe 25 or 30 companies around the world that are producing integrated reports. I know of a number of others that are actively in the process of developing them. I think it's very important to note the formation of the International Integrated Reporting Committee the Secretariat being uh, Prince of Wales Accounting for Sustainability Project and the Global Reporting Initiative. was uh, The formation was announced in August of this year. Um, there's a steering committee, there's a working group. The working group is uh, developing a framework. We hope to get the um, topic of integrated reporting on the agenda of the G20 meeting, which will be hosted in France in November of next year. And generally what you see is a, a lot of interest, admittedly early stages, but there's interest on the part of companies, there's interest on the part of investors, uh, stakeholders of different kinds, and increasingly you see technology and data vendors moving into the space to help develop the tools that companies will need to provide integrated reports. There's a technology called the Extensible Business Reporting Language, XBRL, which I think is important, and kind of the frontier in some ways is cloud computing. Uh, but I don't really have time to get into cloud computing now, and so I will leave that for another